Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for Scrap Diva Designs. Uh, one of them is from the March 2024 release and the other one is a bonus release. So I will have ScrapDivaDesigns.com linked down below. It is a referral link if you click on that and place an order. I do get a commission. So thank you to everybody who uses that link. It really does help me out. My channel doesn't cost you anything extra. And of course, I have a coupon code you could always use at scrap uh, <laughs> at scrapdivadesigns.com for 10% uh, off. And that is strawberry cream. So don't forget to use that at checkout to save a little bit of money. So yeah, let's get started. I'll show you the projects that I made and I will take some measurements. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in a comment and I'll get back to you. So uh, yeah, all these products will be linked down below as well. So you could just click on them uh, just to see them right away. Okay, so the first one is the bonus release. So this is called the uh, Scalloped Easter Bag. So this die set uh, comes with a gift bag die and you can use this die for any occasion. It doesn't have to be for Easter, but it does come with Easter embellishments. So these are all the dies that you get and it comes with, this is the main die. And you'll cut out two of these from your paper. Um, I use double-sided cardstock and that way it looks nice on the inside and the outside. So you cut out two of these and I love it because it has the scallop trim at the top and it's stitched all the way around. So great little bag. And then it comes with these two pieces. This is the rectangle for the bottom of the box and this is a stitch layering piece for the bottom. Also good to have those kind of rectangles in your stash anyway. And then the embellishments it comes with, it comes with this cute bunny profile, which is just so adorable. And then there are layering pieces for this, which include the ear or the inner part of the ear, some whiskers, this, well, there's the eye, um, an eyebrow if you want to use it. Here is a nose and a mouth and an extra nose piece if you want to change the pattern of that. And then this is part of the bow, which is the next part that it comes with. So it comes with these bow pieces and they're nice stitched bows. I love the, the tails of the bow here. And uh, it makes a really nice bow that, of course, you know, you could use for any application. And then it comes with these two other kind of bows that you could add for decoration on your bunny if you want, either a bow tie or a bow in their, you know, ears or hair or whatever to make it into like a girl bunny. So lots of different possibilities. And I did make both of mine like springy. I put the, the bunny on the first one that I made. So let me show you that. Here it is. And uh, isn't that adorable? I didn't put the eyebrow on. I kind of forgot about it, but then again, I don't think it needs it. So um, I cut the bag itself out of this cute bunny paper, and this was from a spring collection. And if you look on the inside, it's double-sided. So it just, you know, makes it really quick. You don't have to like cut multiple layers or anything. And if you use nice, you know, regular cardstock, it makes a nice um, heavy weight bag or, you know, mid-weight bag. And since it's probably a gift bag, you don't need to go crazy making it like super heavyweight. But um, yeah, it's, it's nice and sturdy, definitely. And it comes together so quickly. So if you wanted to make um, a few of these for gifts, you know, it wouldn't take too much time to do. Like I said, you just need the two pieces, the front and the side, and then the back and the side, and then the bottom of your box. And that's it. You just glue them together on the glue tabs using either your double-sided tape or your glue and just fold it on the fold lines and you're good to go. So this is the bunny that I made. I cut out of some foam board from Walmart and that same pattern paper that I used for the bag, but just I used the purple side for the bunny. And then I used some, what is this, Sizzix paper that's like holographic pink paper. And I used that same paper. There's like a white part of that paper for the whiskers. I used the pink part for the nose. I just left the whole thing pink. I did the eye out of some black glossy paper and put, did I? Yeah, I think I used a little piece of white glossy paper inside the eye. And then the bow comes with the die set and I cut that out of some other paper. I think it's from the same paper pad. And uh, this is double-sided as well. If you could see the inside of the bow, it's that polka dot. I just wanted to change it up on the loop part. You could see there's like a carrot there. So it's really cute. And I kind of offset it a little because I feel like the bunny is more like facing forward and if the bow was centered I don't know it was just 
it, I was thinking that it should be more toward the front of the bunny, so that's why I put it there. This Happy Easter doesn't come with this die set. It comes with the Bunny Doily Mer Memory Decks, which is also from this release. So um, I, you know, had that out, so I thought it would be a really nice addition to this bag here. And I love, see all the stitch detail on it? And that scallop at the top is just so nice. I love scallops. And then I added some holes. I punched holes, two in the front and two in the back, and then I just tied some ribbon through them, just knotted them on the inside, just to make some little handles. It doesn't come with the handle die, but I like being able to put ribbons on the, uh, you know, on the bag for a handle anyway. And then I just stuffed it with some tissue paper right now, but you could see inside how nice and roomy it is. I didn't add a layering piece to the bottom. I really didn't think it needed it. It is really nice and sturdy. So let me take a measurement for you. Okay, this one from top to bottom is about five inches, and then side to side, it's about four inches. And then deep, it is about two and about two and a quarter. So, you know, this will hold a lot. It would be great for favors if you're doing a party, like a bridal shower or something, a baby shower. You could customize it into any, you know, pattern you want, um, any kind of design you want. I love versatile dies like this that, you know, like I always say, you get more for your money because you can use them for the holiday it's intended, like with this cute bunny. And then, of course, you can use this bunny other places too. But then you can use the bag for um, other projects too. And it's, you know, it's got this nice gusset here and it's just really well designed and I love it. I think it's a great, great little bag. I got this, this die set in the mail and I went to work that night and put these together. I just had so much fun. So this is the second one that I made. And this one I kept very simple. I used the same paper pad, I believe, for the, for the construction of the box. And then on the inside, it's double-sided, so that's the inside of the box. It's like loud floral print, which I probably would never put on the outside of a box, but I think for the inside, it's kind of fun. And then I used a piece of ephemera from this paper pad, which I don't remember what it is offhand. I don't think it's the new Joann's one. I think it's a different one I had. But anyway, I used that, uh, not ephemera, it's a cut apart. And then I um, used a die in my stash to cut out the, the uh, you know, scalloped edging, just to kind of go back to the scalloping on the edge of the bag. And then I added orange and yellow Nouveau drops all the way around. And then just put some some yellow and white twine through it. I punched a couple little holes. And then these are those clips that I got from Timu recently, if you watched that haul. Um, these are hair clips, but I, they're so tiny. I think they're really cute on paper projects too. And yeah, that way whoever gets this gets a little clip as well. So same measurements, of course. It's the same, same exact thing. I just didn't put the bunny on this one just to show you, you know, it looked really cute without the bunny too. So those are the, the bonus release, and that is the scalloped Easter bag. The link will be down below, of course. Okay, and let me show you just the last one I have for you today. This one is the 3D Castle, and these are the dies that it comes with. And if you want a tutorial on how to put this together, go ahead and watch Carol's Craft Cottage, um, her video. Hi, Carol, if you're watching. She has the best tutorial. She's so thorough. She explains everything really well. And I followed her tutorial for how to put the, the roof together because I really didn't know. And it was so easy. So thank you so much, Carol, for doing those videos. So um, yeah, I will, I'll link her tutorial down below in case you need it. Or it's probably on the website, actually. So if you go on the product page for the 3D Castle, Erica always puts links to the tutorials that the design team members create. So it's so helpful when you get the die and you're like, I don't know how to put this together, especially, you know, 3D dies. Sometimes I get intimidated with all the different pieces and how many I have to cut of each and that sort of thing. And Carol explains it really well. When I do tutorials, I try to do that as well, but I don't need to for this one because Carol already made one. So this is the main castle die and you cut out, I think two of these, I think it was. And then these are layering pieces. It cuts out this window shape from every other panel. And then there are these layering pieces for the windows that create this really nice frame. And there are two of those, so you don't have to, you know, cut six out, because is it six? One, two, no, I guess there's just four. 
but um, that way you just have to run them through your die cutting machine twice. This is like the um, cast the edge on the roof, and somebody told me in a comment what this is called, and I completely forgot, but you know, it's that thing with the jagged edge at the top. And then here is the floor die, and then a layering piece, floor, bottom, whatever. And then it comes with the roof die, and you cut out two of these as well. And then it comes with this little flag, too, that you could put on the top of your castle. And I think that's all the dies it comes with. Let me show you my little project I made. And oh my gosh, there are so many cute ones out there. But I wanted to make mine um, uh, just like a little bit different. I love the princess theme, but um, I was thinking castle, like sand castle. So, you know, summer's coming up. I thought a cute little like sand castle beach theme one would be fun. So this is what I made. And yeah, isn't that adorable? The collection that I used for the paper, this is an older one from Authentique and it's called Sea Maiden. Remember when Hobby Lobby used to carry Authentique like collection kits and paper pads and stuff. This is from 2018, I believe. Yeah. So I don't think they do anymore, but I remember I got this on sale and um, I haven't used it too much since then, but this was, I thought, the perfect opportunity to use it. And I remember I had it, so I looked in my summer stash and there it was. So let me take you through this cute little castle. So like I said, I wanted to make it into a beach theme, so I used um, I used white textured paper for the construction of the castle and it came together really, really easily. And, and um, for the layering pieces, I used one of the papers from that collection that just has like some under the sea kind of uh, scenes on it. And then for the background of the, of the uh, window, I used like the sand print. I used that same one for this little wall here. And then I used some gold glitter paper for the, for the frame because I think it looks kind of like sand, you know? So I did that on all four of the windows. And then, um, yeah, so I used the, that same sand paper and then I added some like sand colored pom-pom trim around the edge of it just to add a little, you know, little texture. And then I put some gold glitter at the top, again, looking like sand, I think. And then on the roof, I added some of the little, these are like, like pop-out ephemera from this collection. One of them I had to create myself. It was probably this one because it's smaller because I only had three of them. But I just glued those onto every other panel, um, added the glitter, and then I made a little like, um, like flag at the top and I just took a toothpick, just a regular toothpick, and cut out that, that flag die that comes with the die set out of some like beech wood kind of paper. Oh, sorry, bumped my tripod. And then I just wrapped that around the toothpick, as you can see, and just glued it on the other side. And then this little fun in the fun and sun sticker comes from um, Sunny Days from Maggie Holmes. And then I glued on a couple of little beads. This one's like a sea glass looking bead, I thought, and then just a uh, seed bead at top on the top just to kind of cap it off. And then for the different little pieces of ephemera and things on the side, isn't that so cute, that little surfboard? That comes from a Scrap Diva Designs die. This came out, I think it was last year, the Beach Ball mini album. So it comes with, this is a great die set, but it does come with some cute like summer ephemera. And there are two um, surfboard pieces and I just used the solid one, but it does come with like a trim one. And then I did use this beach umbrella as well, and I'll show you that one. But yeah, I just love that die. I just kind of fussy cut it over this, this cute little like mermaid picture. And then the fish and the starfish and the crab, those were dies I had in my stash. So I just cut those out of different coordinating papers and just glued those on around the castle. See some more fish on this panel. There's that beach umbrella from the, from the beach ball mini album. So I put that there, cut that out a couple times to, you know, just change the paper up a little bit, added a enamel dot on the top, and then um, one, another one of those little starfish. Isn't that so pretty, that mermaid paper back there? Oh, just love it. Cute little crab there, just kind of walking around. Here's another surfboard. Again, I fussy cut it on a, a pretty pattern from the Sea Maidens. Another starfish, another fish. And then these flip-flops were from a die in my stash as well. And I just, they, they were the right scale. So that's why I added them there. And they're just so fun. And these seahorses too. So I just love this. Let me measure this before I open it up for you. And it's a really nice size box as well. 
So from the top of the box to the bottom, it's uh, I guess about six and a half inches. And then let me turn it over to measure the diameter. That is about, well, I should do like the longest point, right? About three and a half inches. So it makes this, uh, what is this for? Um, octagonal base. So it just lifts off like this. And that's what the inside looks like. I added some extra panels here on the back just so it would look nice when you when you open it up. And I did add that that sand print for the layering piece on the inside. And it's just such a cute box, I think. And again, you know, it, it's so well designed, so it, it feels really nice and sturdy. And when you construct the roof, it just goes on so nicely. Now I have pom poms here, so I kind of have to, you know, make sure those are out before I put the put the lid on the box. But it feels really nice and solid. And um, like I said, it was it was easy to put together once you knew how to do it. And um, yeah, I just really enjoyed making this. I love all the different ways that you can construct this. There are, um, I think it was Jen. Jen Cassell uh, has a tu tutorial for how to make this really pretty, like big castle, and using this in like different ways throughout that castle. So it's really cute. You can make a double layered one. So it's just so fun to see what people come up with. So yeah, I made a sand castle like I thought, and I, like I said, and uh, I, I love it. I think it's really cute. I'm not big of a uh, like summer decorator, but I just love this pretty mermaid theme. And I could see this in my powder room, you know, just put like some uh, cotton balls or whatever in here just to, you know, have it a little bit hidden, but also to be decorative at the same time. So yeah, those are my projects for today. I hope you like them nice and big. Um, they'll be linked down below. And um, of course, if you have any questions, please let me know in a comment. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Don't forget to use my referral link and my coupon code Strawberry Cream if you're ordering at Scrap Diva Designs. And thank you. I, re I can't say it enough how much I appreciate when you guys use that code. It doesn't tell me, you know, who, of course, who uses it, but I do get messages when it, when it was used and it always gives me a smile. So thank you guys. All right. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.